to do myself. <laughs> I'm too hungry, honestly, I can't do this. That wasn't my best work. Alright, hang on. Are you seeing this, Lenny? Go. Boing. Go. Go, Renny. It's your birthday. Hello, guys. Hi, mate. I've been watching your videos for more than five years. <laughs> I'm Elena, and this is Riley. And this is our home, La Vagabond. <laughs> We've been sailing around the world for the last six years now, and recently, it's like we're seeing everything for the first time through a new set of eyes. This is our little boy, Lenny. Click the subscribe button to join our voyage every Monday. Welcome back to the island of Madeira. We're anchored in the port of Funchal, just patiently waiting to have our COVID tests taken and to have them cleared so we can finally head into shore and stretch our legs after spending four days out at sea. We're all well and truly ready to have some of our own space. And of course, we cannot wait to eat some cooked food. We've never carried a backup gas bottle, but after this experience, I might have to stash a little one somewhere. Anyway, enjoy hanging out with us for a bit and keep an ear out for some super duper exciting news. We cannot wait to finally tell you this. We're getting over it. <laughs> Andre was just, has just been on the phone to the marina people, begging them if Uber Eats could drop off a package and then they could leave it somewhere and we could pick it up in the dinghy <laughs> and then finally agree yeah. to it and it's like Christmas. Yeah. What's happened? Latest arrival. I said 45 minutes and then I don't know what to do with myself. <laughs> I'm too hungry, honestly, I can't do this. What can I eat? Okay. Like, oh, lettuce and uh, um, olive oil and salt. You want? You can't hang out for the. I'm seriously food. that hungry. Who's that? Still with it. Gotta answer it. That's me. Help, help you. What's happening? You got a paddle now. <laughs> she have a Eating for food then. <laughs> now this happens. How happy are you out of ten? I'm shaking. <laughs> bueno? I wanted to do a mission debrief. Uh-huh. So we sailed from Porta. No we didn't. We sailed from Ponta Delgada to Madeira. How'd it go? Tiring. Yep. Saw some wildlife. Yep. Yeah. Did you get seasick? On the first day I felt gross. Yeah. I felt I put my head down. I listened to a lot of podcasts. Which... In fact, my brain is full of knowledge after that trip. So that's me. How was it for you? Pretty good. You and I took care of all the night shift stuff. So mm -hmm. the main thing there, the main memory and the main difficulty of the whole mm -hmm. um, sail was trying to stay awake. You, what, what about when you scared me? I don't know if we've said this to the camera yet. So you, you came up and I had my phone on 15 minute alarms because I was just dead. I was like, like tongue slipping out of your mouth, tired with saliva dripping off the Every end of it. Every muscle relaxed, yeah. long post. <laughs> and you came upstairs. Yeah, and I thought you, and I was like, mate, do you want to go to bed? And I just flipped out. And that's so why I was like in my chair going like, <laughs> for way too long yeah. and Andre was like dude chill <laughs> you only get those weird sort of things uh, on a passage what are you guys doing just doing a little work on the outboard <laughs> seriously though doing a little work on the outboard pants it's just not working <laughs> I think it's a spark plug and then we're looking for the spare spark plug and the spare spark plug is not here I think Lenny's got it. You got the spark plug? No, just two octopus. <laughs> what up, Schmooky Duke? I've just cleaned all the carbon off. Andre, was this the top one or the bottom one? That, uh, I was saying wrong. That's the bottom one. <laughs> now, this this, this one used now. to be the bottom one. Okay, so then this is the bottom one now. Yes. Got it sorted. Yeah. <laughs> Fingers crossed. No, it doesn't really matter. It's just if you swap them around, 
Well, if it's not working and you change stuff, it might work. Moment of truth, schmook. That wasn't my best work. All right, hang on. Doesn't sound good, does it? spinning, if that makes sense. Some wheels aren't churning. I've had a shower, in a clean shower. I feel like a new human. So needed. So, say how those guys went past and went, Oh yeah, these guys are hilarious. They clearly don't have an engine and they came in under sail and the pilot, there was two boats helping them to grab a mooring and when they went past, one of the guys was like, hey, Elena baby. And just then they shouted at Riley, it was but so they, funny. They got Yo, what up, bro? <laughs> but there's like five dudes on one mono hull, and I don't know where they've come from. Um, but they'll probably be watching this show. So hello, and thank you for watching. The guys on the boat over here that Elena was talking about are taking photos or videos of me filming myself, which is both meta and very embarrassing. Maybe, maybe just a little embarrassing. to not be sailing, <laughs> to be in calm waters. Right, we're in a very big hurry this morning. We have nine minutes to get this test. Right. And if we don't get it, then who knows when we're gonna get the next one. And we have to row to shore. <laughs> well, if I'm going somewhere fast, I play motorhead in my head. Really? Yeah. How does it go? ding 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 <laughs> These guys have jumped the queue. We're all tied off over here. They asked us to move spots. They fired up their engine. <laughs> we rode. <laughs> we rode. They got there first and now they're getting tested first. The unsung hero, by the way. Have you been watching Free Solo? Yep. And the Dunwell. That is seriously impressive. Is that the camel pose? <laughs> it's a bang bang. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like to explain a little bit about where we are? What's this wall? How long has the wall been here for? What's the size of the crack? What so sort of moss have, is here growing? We have a concrete wall. It was founded in 1892. Originally, this material actually came far from back in the mountains, and um, they actually had to carry it all by hand. So, what we're standing by right here is actually quite a miracle. You How are see. the cracks formed? Um, the cracks, actually they have a migration of whales that come in here every year and when Is they whip right? their tails it kind of um, sends this vibration and it cracks all of the walls. So yeah, this is purely from the whales. That makes sense because there's a whale boat I think over there. Joao. 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 Hello guys. Hey mate. I've been watching your videos for more than five years. <laughs> Great videos. Thank you. That's Have amazing you man, thank you. Yeah. How come you let the other guys sneak in front of us? <laughs> we, were, we were clearly first. Yeah. <laughs> Riley, you're first. Oh, right. Am I? Yeah, I just heard your name. No, they called out your name. Okay. <laughs> Final words. I'm not back in 
10 minutes, just wait another 10 minutes. Why didn't you wait for me? Well, you were dead. Death cannot stop true love. All it can do is delay it for a while. Dada? Yeah, Dad is getting a swab taken. Now I'm scared. No, it's good. This guy's very gentle. Oh. <laughs> How many have you done now? This will be the fifth test. <laughs> Doesn't hurt anymore. <laughs> Give me some money. Ah, okay. They don't How do was it? It's fine. Not so bad? Not so bad. The first one was worse, actually. Until the next one. <laughs> Andre's done five, you know. You're brave. I'm stupid. I'm going to make you a medal. He's getting his negative. All negative? All negative. Yes! I call the marina. Thank God. Man, that's good news. We're free. I cannot wait to go for a run. Yeah, go to rally, go to rally. Rally! Our tests are all negative. Hey. We're free. They let us um, into the marina. We've got a spot. Go spa. And this guy's coming out. We're gonna make room for him. Lenny's wearing a G-string. So what's the plan over the next few weeks? Well, Andre will be leaving us tomorrow, flying back to the mainland of Portugal to spend some time with his friends and family again. And we're gonna be here in the Madeira archipelago where there are three islands we'll need to see, this one being the main island. We have a few boat jobs to do and we really wanted to climb some of these mountains. We've met a friend this morning. Good morning. Hello. How are you guys? <laughs> Celebrity life of La Vagabond again. <laughs> Off uh, carrying washing around to various exotic locations. When we don't have to do our washing anymore, that's when we've made it. <laughs> <laughs> that's when you know you've cracked a big time. <laughs> what are we doing, pants? We're going for a hike and Andre's sleeping. You must be happy to see the back of us by now, Andre. No. No, but it's good to be. Go home. And Come on, I'm pretty annoying. And see your new no. camera. Yeah, my new camera, that's right. <laughs> and Philippa. <Yeah. laughs> Put Philippa first. <laughs> it's gonna blow out. There's a taxi there. This is a devastating series of events. <laughs> Do you guys remember the trimaran that Riley got to sail on back in the Azores? On shockwave with these legends? Well, they were looking for an OBR to help them film a race that they were doing in Malta and of course, Riley gave them Andre's name. It's really cool for us to see Andre doing what he loves doing and Riley and I both kind of feel like some kind of proud auntie or uncle. See you soon, mate. Yeah, definitely. Good luck on Shockwave. Yeah. Say hi to everyone for us. Say good night, the boys. Awesome. Eat a bomb. See ya. Make sure you check out Andre's stuff on Instagram and his website. I'll link it all in the description below. down to eat ice cream. Well no, because I started crouching down to feed him. So now he thinks that's part of the process. So we walk along and then he crouches down and goes, bring me the ice cream. <laughs> Hi guys. Elena's pregnant. <laughs> Probably a lot of you might have already guessed because actually on Instagram there was a few photos where you could see my bump in the making. And um, yes, we decided that Lenny needs a friend on the water. We, we went in, we had some very big, very in-depth, long discussions about what's, what's the best thing 
for Lenny, basically, and we think that with this lifestyle that we've got, he just needs a little a companion. Little friend. Yeah, we it's got not lucky so good again. For the population. <laughs> Great for Lenny, though. Great for Lenny. Selfishly. Um, and he just Lenny just got to this age where he was trying to kill himself less. I would say slightly less. He, yeah. Fairly robust, so I mean, he could fall over and it doesn't look like he's gonna break. Mm. And once he got to that age, we were like, okay, we could probably do it all again. But uh, originally, yeah, things I was have like... got just easy enough that we've forgotten how <laughs> difficult things were. So let's jump straight back into the frying pan. What are we doing? So yeah, there's a little boy or girl on its way. We're Can very, I... very happy. We are very happy. We thought long and hard about this and we really think that um, mm. we we do a discussion on Patreon. We spoke to everyone there and I was like, no, no, we're not going to do that. Uh, yeah, so definitely not pregnant. three though. <laughs> definitely not three. Let's not do it. <laughs> the first month was really difficult. I was feeling super hormonal and um, mm. I can very hormonal and nauseous, but I never actually got sick sick which I'm thankful for and then after that first month I just I don't feel pregnant so I think I'm gonna get lucky again like with like Lenny's pregnancy and because we do have a lot of other stuff going on I don't think I'm gonna have time to make my pregnancy vlogs like last time and to be honest I really thought that I would love the the subject of being a mother and sharing that but now that I am a mother I just want to be a mother and not talk about being a mum and all the things. That's okay. You, yeah, you just I do your it, thing. I thought it would interest me more. Like, I love being a mum and all the things, but I don't want to be a mum You blogger. just don't want to make videos about it, yeah. Yeah, I'm just not, I'm not going to post on the Vagabond Mum this time, but I will update you guys here in the videos when I can. Big news though, uh, yeah. I'm going to start on the Vagabond Dad. <laughs> wonder what that would involve. I'll have nearly a dozen subscribers. It would be breaking all of mum's rules eating ice cream late at night. How to, Dad. I'll um, put some pictures up on Instagram and you guys will see my bump growing in the videos. And would, would love to read about what, what everyone thinks about that in the comments. Yeah. If you, you know, if there's any... It's nice to read about well wishes occasionally. Yeah, if you but guys anyway, have anything if you, to if say. You're in, if you're that way inclined, that'd be nice. So there you go. Eli's prego. <laughs> Again. Mm. I can't wait to see Lenny as a big brother. It's gonna melt my heart. Like, what about when you hug that kid in the playground oh, the other day? No. When he holds the little baby. <laughs> we're gonna find out the gender too before we have it because we're too impatient. So we'll do a gender reveal. Keep you posted. <laughs> <laughs> so happy. 